What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so... Yes. We're, uh, we're gonna go straight into event Pokemon and all that stuff, because, well, we kind of have to and all that. Uh, so, yes, in this episode right here, guys, my most... Well, my the least favorite event ever, and that is... Uh, finding the legendary bird Pokemon in Pokemon X and Y. Now, if you guys remember, in the last walkthrough that I did here in Kalos, Pokemon X, I got myself a Moltres, I believe. Yeah, I got myself Moltres. Now, the way this works, guys, you saw it in the last episode. After you have defeated the Pokemon League, it doesn't matter where you go. If you step on a patch of grass, first thing you're going to encounter is a legendary bird from the Kanto region. Now, funny enough... The Pokemon, or the typing of that uh, legendary Pokemon, is dependent on your, I believe, your rival's, uh, your rival's weakness or something like that. And I'm talking about Serena. Could be wrong. Yeah, you know what? It is. It is. It doesn't make sense. Now, here's where, here, here, here's where it just it gets, gets it gets a little crazier. You have to find this Pokemon ten times. Ten friggin' times in order to actually battle it. Because if you guys remember, once you encounter it, it won't even give you the option to try and capture it or anything. No, it's just going to flee. Now, mind you, that first encounter, it's always going to be the very first... Uh, it's going to be one, it, it, or it's actually going to count towards the ten times you have to visit it. Now, off-screen, I did go and uh, encounter this Pokemon like about seven more times we're at nine kind of want to encounter it again now the first step is you need a boatload of max repels and that's exactly what i did hopefully i did it uh last night let's see hold on where's the max repels where are the max repels seriously ah here we go okay so we got 50 max repels don't think we need that many more for this encounter you do need a pokemon at level well, under level 70. And the easiest place to encounter it is right here in Santaloon City. Why? Because the entrance and exit is always right there. You can find, uh, you can always find a legendary Pokemon quickly. So what I'm going to try and do right here, guys, is, well, we're going to, we're going to try and encounter this Pokemon. Uh, let's go with the bike because it always works. So as you guys can see, it's changed. There's one and two. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, guys. It, it does take a while in order to find this Pokemon right here. So I'm going to go back and forth. That's why I was saying in the, the last episode, when it came to these Pokemon right here, one of the biggest things they probably should have added right here uh, for Pokemon X and Y was uh, a legendary Pokemon uh, tracker. Kind of like what they did in the D Nintendo DS, where it was easy for us to actually find these Pokemon. Me, I am not going to... There you go. Look at that. We found him. Oh! So, as you guys can see, we get Zapdos in this game. And welcome, evil bacon. Okay. All righty. So, it automatically flees. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that was the 10th time that I've actually encountered this Pokemon. So like I was saying before, guys, I'm not going to go into the Pokedex every single time just to see where this Pokemon is. I'm just going to do that process, and luckily for us, it took us two repels to find it. It is a coastal Pokemon right here, and since it is the 10th time... Actually, no, that's the 9th time. Okay, so we probably need to find this Pokemon just a few more times. Maybe one more time. I could be wrong. But like I was saying... Yes, we're going to try and find this Pokemon yet again, just to prove a point that yes, this is the easiest way to find this Pokemon. It doesn't matter which, which side you go, guys, left or right, you can actually find the legendary Pokemon, and wow, I actually thought that was uh, the legendary Pokemon, and look at that, we found it again! Okay, there it is, Zapdos again, say hello to Evil Bekong. And hopefully this is the tenth time. Hopefully. Okay, so it has escaped. If this is the tenth time, guys, go straight to the Pokédex. And you will see 
what I'm talking about. So let's go right ahead and press this A button right here, Coastal Pokemon. One thing I really don't like is how long this Pokedex takes. So after 10 times, guys, Zapdos will be at Route 4. It will be stationed there. So all we got to do now is fly all the way over there. So uh, let's go right ahead and do that. I kind of need to do that. So uh, who, who, who here flies in my team? Oh, yes, Nacho Libre. Alrighty, let's go fly. And as you guys already know, the Sea Spirit's Den, that is exactly where we're going to be headed. So we got to go there. And, uh, well, damn. Holy crap. So I could be wrong with the whole, like, seeing it nine more times. I think you have to see it a total of ten times after that first encounter, which is kind of lame because it's like, you know, I always thought it was the other way around. But eh, never mind, guys. Anywho, let's see. Huge shout out to you all, all you guys for being patient. Yes, I'm going to be ranting a little bit. Huge shout out because, uh, well, I know I've been taking a few days off. Some because I've been sick. Some because, you know, I've just been very, very busy. But, you know, we still got this, guys. I still got uh, I still got videos to uh, dish out. As many of you guys already know, we're going to be going into the Alolo region. And it looks like to me... Many of you guys have voted for Pokemon uh, Ultra Ultra Moon, so keep an eye out for that right there, guys. I can't wait to get back on there. Um, I know the irony of uh, playing Pokemon Ultra Moon when I haven't finished Pokemon Moon. Uh, what was the thought process behind that? Uh, well, I, I recently watched a walkthrough. Uh, and shout out to, uh, what was his name? Uh, Munching Orange. Yes. Shout out to him. So after watching his walkthrough of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and the regular Sun and Moon, uh, there's not a lot of difference except for just a few things here and there. So I, w I figured, okay, why not give you guys the option of the regular game or the, I guess, the ultimate rendition of the whole thing. So... Luckily for you, luckily for me, you guys picked the, the ultimate rendition, so we're going to be doing that. So now, here we are, Sea Spirit's Den, and, uh, well, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going in here, and uh, we're going to try and capture this Pokemon. Go straight down the middle, and bam! Oh, yeah. Here's Zapdos. All right, Legendary Pokemon versus Legendary Pokemon. Evil Bacon versus, uh, well, I, I would like to say uh, Spiky Bacon, but who wants a Spiky ba Bacon? So for this Pokemon right here, I am definitely going to be throwing that Master Ball because, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm not going to take my time to try and weaken this Pokemon, especially since it's both an Electric and Flying type Pokemon. So let's go ahead, throw that Master Ball, and uh, let's take our chances with the other two Legendary Pokemon that we have in store so as you guys can see BAM finally captured ourselves Zapdos yeah buddy alrighty and well evil bacon for all its work it finally gets to level 62 right there and well Moko grows to level 65 and uh, all we got to do now is uh, put this Pokemon in our Pokedex and BAM here is Zapdos the electric Pokemon well, a legendary Pokemon that is said to live in the thunderclouds, it, fr it freely controls lightning bolts. Not much of a description right there, but there it is, guys. We finally caught ourselves the legendary, uh, the legendary bird Pokemon from Kanto, Zapdos. So what we're going to do now, I kind of want to go straight to the Pokemon Center and, uh, yeah, check this Pokemon out right here. So let's go right ahead, take a look at this Pokemon. See what it's all about. And uh, away we go. Alrighty. We're flying. We are flying. And here we are. Pokemon Center in Kumarine City. And let's go ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon that we just captured right here. So, yes, we got new wallpapers because we won uh, the Pokemon League. And let's go straight to Organize Boxes. And from there, we are going to find ourselves... Yes, our good old buddy Zapdos. As you guys can see, it's at level 70, and it does have the pressure ability. The Pokemon raises opposing uh, Pokemon's PP usage. As you guys can tell, 
It is more of a physical Pokemon. Actually, I lie. More of a special attacker Pokemon than anything. Uh, it does have the agility, or has agility, discharge, rain dance, and uh, light screen. Ready for competitive play and all that stuff. Anywho. Well, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going into the forest because we got another Pokemon that we need to capture. And, uh, well, challenge accepted. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.